In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create top 20 countries infographic slide in PowerPoint. This is an animated slide. So let me just show you how this works. So when I click, you can see here it started moving. So the, for the top 20 countries starting from the, the countdown. So it's starting from Sweden and it moves automatically. You can see here it just wait for one or two seconds and then it moves to the next slide so this kind of animation you can do it in powerpoint so so this is the number 11 10 and the nine countries you can see here i have provided the flag the gdp the population and the per capita income of the respective countries so you can see here this is the top five is uk germany and china and the last top two countries are the russia and the usa so this one way i have created this particular present uh, the animation and i have created one more slide where you can see here i've added the animation effect the one which you saw that one it was a transition effect so this is the animation effect and it will scroll it you can see here starting from the number one country the usa you can see it keeps on moving so this is just i've put 20 countries so depending on your requirement you can add as many countries as you want or and you can just replace the image with any of the image you want and you can replace the text with any of the text so so these are the top 20 powerful countries and i've given the source so let me just show you what uh, what is the source and how i have downloaded the flags of these countries so this is number 15 is australia 14 is india then it comes the turkey you can see here this is the 17th country is italy it's qatar and the last one two is the spain and sweden so likewise you can just do the animation so here this is the source data i have got this country ranking from this particular website called usnews.com and you can get the country flags free from this uh, particular uh, website and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as you can join my telegram group with the help of this link it is also provided in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to blue gradient background let me just show you what i did right mouse click go to format background and i have type i have used as radial and it is from the center and i have used three colors you can see here the uh, light blue dark blue and more darker here so it's up to you which color you like to use it so then go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle depending on your requirement maybe i'm going to choose this much size and make it less curve by dragging this orange point somewhat outside maybe this much size and make sure to align center and align middle and let me just go to view enable the guides also and go to format shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give some different color for the time being and later on i'm going to change it now i want to add one more shape uh, at the bottom for that i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d and i'm going to use some dark color here and again align center align middle and then go to insert shapes select the oval shape using the oval shape you can see here depending on my requirement let me just make it transparent so exactly i'm going to cut this much part you can see here the one which is a visible the bottom blue that only i'm going to keep it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the rectangle hold the shift key select the oval shape under format merge shape and i can just simply subtract and remember this particular feature available only in the latest version of powerpoint it is not there in 2007 and in 2010 you need to enable it but fragment is missing there okay so let me just subtract it and again depending on my requirement i can just change the color maybe somewhat darker that's maybe this color or maybe we can choose the color also later on then what i'm going to do i'm going to give some glossy effect for this you know some glass effect kind of thing so for that i'm going to select this 
maybe I can just make it a white color, increase the transparency, something like this, and then go to the line. I'm going to select the gradient line and gradient line. I'm going to use one stop. I'm going to use a white color. Then another stop I can maybe I can choose some black or blue. Again, I'm going to choose white color and maybe again I can give some gray color, some different color combinations we can give and increase the width. You can see here, increase the width and you can just change the direction, whichever direction you need. So you get a kind of shadow effect or the glass effect. If the black is more visible, then I can just make it instead of black, I can make it maybe blue only. So depending on the requirements, see you can add uh, like this. I'm going to add one more shape here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this, press Ctrl D. You can see here, maybe shape outline. I can make it no outline and I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D and bring it here exactly. Then only the top part, which is visible, I'm going to uh, keep it and the one at the bottom, I'm going to remove it. So again, I'm going to select the white rectangle, hold the shift key, select this shape under format merge shape i can subtract it okay and then if you want you can give it more white or you can increase the transparency it's up to you so and then i'm just going to put it here exactly so this is the place where i'm going to add the images of the flags okay now if you want to add one more kind of a glass effect again let me just duplicate this you can see here go to insert shape select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size i'm going to just a minute let me just make it transparent you can see here here i can just increase it so maybe this much part only i'm going to keep it or i can just make it more something like this you can see here then again hold first select this one hold the shift key select this one more shape i can just say intersect and this one I'm going to give some gradient fill. So gradient fill, I'm going to use two stops only. The one stop, I'm going to make it a white color and the radial, I can, I can choose a type instead of radial linear and I can just choose any direction like this. And here also I'm going to choose white, but the only thing is this one, I'm going to make it more transparent look. So, and when I bring it here, it looks something like this and I can just move it something like this you know so you can see here i just got this shape kind of a more kind of a glass look here now it's time to add the flags for that i'm going to choose this one as i mentioned that i have used a particular uh, website from where i've downloaded the flag so let me just go to picture or texture fill go to insert from file and I can just choose the file where I have uh, stored or saved my flags. So you can see here I've downloaded this flag. So I'm just going to select the Sweden comes under the spot number 20. I'm just going to insert it. And uh, here uh, with the help of this offset, you can uh, just uh, change the position of the flag and then just untick this one also. And for example, if I want to move it something like this, you can see here I can just do depending on my requirement. And then I'm going to add the, the position here. So go to insert text box. I'm going to type 20. It depends on your requirement, whether you want to make it from 50 or whatever. So again, center line, and I'm going to choose a font called Roboto. Make it bold, increase the size. If you want, you can give some different color also. You can see here. And then you can insert the country name at the bottom. And I'm going to type Sweden. Again, I'm going to choose the same font, Roboto. Make it white. Let me just delete this one, the font name. Make it bold and maybe you can put 32 depending on your requirement so you can just change it so you can see here uh, this is the way you can just uh, add the country flags and if you have uh, further information like uh, gdp or population or the military budget or whatever 
you can just simply add it or you can get from the same website so let me just show you the website now so these are the you can see these are the top 20 countries it's more here i've just taken a uh, top 20 so the top 20 starts from here so i'm just going to copy this you can see here simply control c come to the powerpoint right mouse click and you can choose this one use destination theme okay and here i'm just going to make this as white font you can see here this one all right and then reduce the size and put it here something like this all right let me just go to view remove the guide so this is the uh, sweden is ready i'm just going to move this here you can see here then press ctrl d you can add one more country again ctrl d so three more countries you can add in one slide so let me just put it at the right place and then you can just simply go and change to 19 this is 18 and then what i'm going to do is very simple i'm just going to choose this go here for example for me the country is next is spain after spain it's qatar so let me just go back here i can just say this one is spain and this is qatar all right and then for me i can just have already the flag so i can just go here and simply choose the flag of spain so the flag of spain is somewhere where it is here all right so this is the spain flag and i'm going to choose this one again this flag i'm going to choose the qatar one so like this you can see here and the flags also it's very easy let me just show you i can you can go here i provided the link if you want for example if you're looking for the flag of say, saudi arabia you can just click it here and you've got three different styles you can see here whichever style so i've just chosen this one just right mouse click save flag as and you can save it in your pc all right so this way you can just do it so whichever flag you have got all the country flags here you can see here but from this particular slide side so uh, what you can do is depending on the you can just go to the website and just uh, replace the text uh, which is provided in the the website so now i'm going to select this slide duplicate this one now i'm going to add another three countries so this is starting from 17 16 and 15 all right and now i have to go to the website and i have to just check which are the other three countries it's italy it's turkey and it's australia so i'm just going to come here i'm going to change it and this is australia all right now again i have the flags with me i can just simply go here insert and i'm going to choose the flag which is of italy here where is italy it's here then i'm going to choose the font which is of here where's turkey here it stays and then here it's australia so i'm just going to choose the font which is sorry the flag which is of australia australia is here so you can see here so it's done now what happened what i can do is i can again i can right mouse click again duplicate the slide sorry not delete again i can duplicate the slide and then i'm going to just make it to 14 say 13 and 12 and then go to the website and change the the countries and their flags and the data respectively so I've changed the country, India, Switzerland, Canada. Now I'm going to use the transition effect. So I'm going to select the first slide. So assume that this is our title slide and then this is our first slide. So what I'm going to do is go to the transition, scroll it down and I'm going to use this called pan. I don't know whether it is available in the older version of PowerPoint or not, but I'm just going to choose this one. You can see here pan instead of going this one i want this to go to right something like this you can see here and again i'm going to select this two also and i'm going to use the same pan and make it move to right all right so then what you can do is i can just select all these three 
and here you can just adjust the settings how frequently what the duration this particular slide has to move so i can just make it maybe i can say 3.5 or 4 or whatever and then here uh, if you want at mouse click or after a particular duration so i'm just going to say this should go after uh, say immediately once it show the data it should go to the next so let me just show you now so if i just play this is on click see slowly this this country comes and then you can see here and then the last one 14 13 and 12 so this way you can just change the settings so it's up to you how, how what the duration you need and after how much time this the slide has to go to the next slide so this is the simplest way you can do the animation and i have made one more animation for example if you don't have this effect what you can do is you can see here let me just zoom in zoom out sorry and i have just placed all the whatever i did here i have just placed it here you can see here and i've then i've grouped it then what i did there's no animation here go to the animations let me just enable the animation pane and you can see here i've just used the motion path which is you can see here the left motion path i have used and the timings i have given duration as one minute 30 seconds and you can just uh, use the smooth end like that so let me just show you how it works here when i do a slideshow when i click it will start slowly moving you can see here so this kind of animation also you can do it one by one so it's just one example only you can do a lot of different things with this particular uh, template so slowly it moves again uh, it's up to you whether you want to keep it the same speed or you want to just uh, change it